Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 4, the Baron playthrough. Um, so, where we last left off, we uh, met the Dwarven player, uh, we found their home, and we were going to eliminate them, but they have such a large number of ballistas that um, it isn't viable right now with the current army I have, so... Um, I'm going to have to return at some later point, unfortunately, but what we can do is our best to neuter them by taking uh, and holding near them and eliminating their armies as they produce them because they're going to have just small armies. So, so we're going to go ahead and do that here. Um, so uh, I got comments. The first video has uh, gone live and uh, people have watched and uh, thank you very much for all the comments. Um, it's the best performing uh, first vid uh, I've had in, uh, I think, the history of the channel. So I, I appreciate it. I love your enthusiasm, and I hope you guys continue to watch it. Um, but yeah, some uh, people have commented, uh, people familiar with the uh, Baron class, and have noted that you can actually uh, upgrade these uh, and to forts. Cost you 50 gold each, but you get an extra gold out of it each, uh, each round and uh, they're more defensive, they get walls. Um, but the best part is, is they, I believe they double the conscription. So you'll get uh, more troops out of it, which I wasn't sure of. I wasn't sure if it affected that or not. Um, so that's something that um, uh, was mentioned on the, uh, on the, chan or on the, the comments and I appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that now. We won't be able to do that here for now, but we will soon, so. Um, yeah, I should have probably gotten that alchemist, but that's okay. Frost here is just working his way down to uh, deliver these troops. Uh, Modic went and got that mine for us, and he's going to come back to the safety of town. You're good to go, and I believe that's all she wrote for us here. So we're going to go ahead and end turn. Oh, and we had uh, jumped on this mine here with my uh, Baron, so should be able to eliminate them without taking any casualties we did uh, this one we might lose a troop or two or not that looked like it went pretty well so we got see they got all these little armies moving around so that's quite we got to stamp them out um, otherwise they're just going to be annoying I don't think they'll be powerful they're just going to have a lot of stuff at their home so uh, so let's go ahead and stomp them out right now um, and what we'll do is we'll keep our Baron up here and capturing the nearby points of interest and just kind of uh, keeping them hemmed in for now. Um, here, we got way too many crossbows for now. Uh, let's go ahead and kill, oh, just a runesmith. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kill him uh, right now and we'll deal with that later. Let's go ahead and use our special powers here to raise a fort. All right, so fort was raised. We've got enough defenses here for now, so I'm happy there. Uh, you're just gonna keep rushing home. Uh, you're going to sentry at this point. And we'll go ahead, let me just make sure. Don't need a captain right now, so we'll, uh, we'll keep the gold so that we can convert more of these things. All right, nice and easy, like I said. They're basically just sending out their, their core units because they can't get enough gold to upgrade them. Uh, or iron at this point, I think. So we'll see, let's see. Really, that's gonna be our best bet anyways. Yeah, this gold stream and the coal mine are gonna come under our control and they're gonna be quite nice to have. Uh, let's see, we got that Mott and Bailey. Let's go ahead and do this Mott and Bailey. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, I can do this. So, uh, so we can see what we have here and then we can figure out what we're getting from conscription. Um, so I'm pointingly not um, looking up guides. There is a fantastic guide uh, out there. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna come up here actually and just kind of explore. Uh, but there is a fantastic guide for the Baron available on uh, Steam. Uh, for those of you who uh, are interested, it's uh, something I recommend if you're l wanting to play the, the Baron. Uh, you can obviously watch the series and learn with me as well, but the, uh, if you get excited from watching it and want to try it yourself, there, there's a wonderful guide on Steam. Uh, just head to the uh, Conquest of Elysium 4 page 
and take a look at the uh, the community stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I could look at that and get all the information, but I kind of want to learn as I go and kind of explore. So it's uh, it's a little more exciting that way. So, um, but obviously the comments are great. I want you to keep them up because uh, I do uh, I do look forward to reading those. And um, I, if you guys want to give me some tips, I'm more than happy to take those on. So I appreciate that, and uh, I'm I'm glad that you guys found it uh, exciting. So. All right, um, so we were going to convert, but we got the special recruit for 10 archers, so you can't pass it da down to, to get uh, discounted troops at any time. 18 units, uh, some higher quality, two commanders, uh, some pike. Pike aren't great in uh, small numbers like this, so uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and crush that because that is our mission. Uh, let's see, you're just going to sit tight, I think. Yep, we'll just sit tight there, and we'll go ahead and turn. So these guys are, uh, we've seen them before, uh, beefy boys, but they don't hit very hard. That is their one downside, um, and then they slow you down, so um, so you do lose out on that ability too. Alright, High Lord, do I want another High Lord? I do, get that. So, I always wondered why they had so many leaders. Um, as this faction when I uh, would play against them and uh, now I understand why because uh, you need them to do all the things all right so coal mine nice and easy to take Ooh, there's a village can't have them get all that gold I'm curious too what uh, I haven't that's the first village we've seen so I wonder if there's anything we can do with that um, as the Baron so I guess we'll find out all right so at this point, we'll just have everybody sitting on uh, various things. Let's take this. Okay, coal mine. We can take that from them. Uh, here, what do we got? Chamberth sitting, and I believe that's it. So we'll go ahead and turn. So, so the return on investment for just the gold. Um, takes a while but it is it is eventually worth it because this game does go on for quite a number of turns Ooh, he deleted one of our uh, knights there um, but um, one of the things you have to keep in mind is that the um, additional benefits is the extra recruits so that alone will uh, usually be uh, worth the price of admission for raising these forts so um, at least that's what I believe Let's see what do you got just a dwarf commander can't move uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that ooh what do we got here only six crossbows we can easily take that but I don't know if we want to take it with this force right now we can take this coal mine though so we'll do that and then uh, the Baron will go and take that other uh, town uh, let's see what do you want to do you want to convert and you've been sitting there politely Waiting for your turn to convert. We should probably grab this silver mine as well. 26 dwarves. Maybe uh, he'll pick up his troops. Uh, he'll pick up some the archers here. And uh, and we'll go and knock out those dwarves real quick. So, Alright, you're waiting. At this point, there's no use in you waiting here. You can come down and we can tackle this one here. So, Alright, we'll go ahead and turn. Deleted another night, but that's all right. We win. We're getting all their resources. That one dwarf commander by himself is not going to be a problem. This can be if it decides to attack us. Maybe it'll decide to attack uh, them. That would be great. That would be fantastic. All right, Baron. I do want to go in the village. Let's do that. Use special powers. What can we do? Let's raise some levies. All right, so village maybe has a higher chance. I don't know. Um, can't raise it into a fort, so that's one of the downsides. But, um, you know, it is what it is, right? So you can finally use your special powers to raise a fort. Oh, and I guess it is, since you are the Baron, you do get a 50% bonus on your gold income. So even though it is one extra gold, it actually is 1.5 extra gold. Or no, 1.25 extra gold. Um, so it's it's a little bit different on the math, but uh, 
not too much at the end of the day. So you'll stay there and we'll go ahead and turn. So we're not doing any recruiting right now, but we're not worried about these uh, opponents that we're running against right now. Okay, Dwarf Commander decided to come back. I can live with that. We'll crush them with that army. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this town. Um, let's see. You were coming down here. Let's go ahead and raise a fort. Uh, you were here. Let's raise a fort. Let's see. You finally got to raise your fort. So awesome. Or, yeah, you did that already. Good. So, Frass, let's go ahead and take these longbowmen and these archers. Yes, because now we've converted a lot of our things. Uh, we could take out this silver mine first. That'll keep us in the area. Ooh, and an iron mine with two trolls and a bunch of goblins. Again, goblins, not a problem. All right, we'll do this. So this is going to hurt a little, but we've got knights. More, we got the archers, so... Yeah, we took a few more casualties than I probably should have, but at the end of the day, we won, so... Alright. This one's pretty easy. We break through the gates. Wooden gates are not a problem at all, so... So you see, they continue to pump out commanders, because they have to. Uh, dwarf commander and four outdoor dwarves. So at this point, Jadros can crush that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, can I raise levies here? I can. Oh, I should have done that at the other town. That is awesome. Um, so I don't have to worry about defending that. At least not against what they can spit out from that dwarven area. So where is my other town? Here? No, that's Mott and Bailey. Did I take... Oh, uh, port. I should have tried it. I could try it at the port. I have the ability to. Um, let's see, Oswine will do that. We'll go ahead and move you down here. One, two, three, four. All right, we'll be able to basically convert these last two over pretty soon. Uh, let's see, we have 30 units still. Unicorn Knight's still full, but we'll go ahead and crush this guy. All right. Um, and let's make sure ooh, the sea father though uh, we'll get another sea father all right so this sea father oops, help if i right click here has the same rising tide and sailor's death dehydration and then stream of water i think he's the same as this guy isn't he nope he had acid darts instead of dehydration oh and he had call water so okay so we do get to look at something different here sailor's death so it stuns and does 1 to 999 damage if they get stunned. Rising Tide does a stun over a burst of 25 and does 1 to 3 damage to the entire group. That one is really good. I love that one. Um, because it does uh, damage across the thing um, if they stun. But more importantly, the stun itself. It just basically neuters their uh, army. So sentry and enter. Nice and easy. Keep murdering their armies as they put them out. 13 knights, 24 spearmen, and one exotic troop. So we'll look at that and see what that gives you. 10 archers are available and a scout. Okay. So, um, let's see. So we'll click here. So, uh, basically, I don't think villages give you anything. Um, I believe it says it specifically in that. Uh, in our description so um, hamlets we have three coastal hamlets um, and seven Mott and Baileys so that's 13 um, or that's 10 hmm so we got an odd number of knights 13 knights huh hmm. I'll have to do some digging into that and let you guys know oh there's some other hamlets there so we have two hamlets so 10, 11, 12, and then I guess maybe the village is also giving us a knight, so we do have 13 knights, so no extra knights, but the spearmen, we got uh, 24 of them, so um, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so the village doesn't give you a spearman, but the hamlets and the Mott and Baileys look like they give you two spearmen each now. So we've got buckets of spearmen. That's really cool. All right, definitely don't want these guys to attack. Please don't attack me. Um, just making sure there's no special things there. Take that. Let's uh, raise levees first. I should have probably raised a fort just in case these guys did attack. I can't. So, well, we'll find out what that does. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's take a peek at what the Davala is doing right now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ballistas now. So, uh, ballistas fire every two rounds. There's 15 rounds in a siege. So, it's going to fire 7 times 12. So, 70, uh, 84 shots currently uh, before we even get to fight. This is the reason why I'm not going to be able to take this without a massive army. Or, again, siege weapons of my own. So, um, And then trebuchets aren't going to be as useful here only because... Uh, you see how the ballistas are spread apart. Um, it's to prevent, uh, you know, uh, the trebuchets or anything with an area effect from affecting multiple of them. So that's why they kind of spread out like they do, I believe. Could also just be weirdness, but we don't know. So there's the volcano that these guys came from. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, I figured there was a volcano nearby, but I wasn't 100% sure. So we'll raise a fort. All right. Oswine, you've got. Nope, not special powers. Just used to doing that. Alright, so we'll grab that. We'll grab our unicorn knight. We'll grab the buckets of spearmen. And uh, we're going to begin our march. Bring them to the front lines. Alright, so we got some gallows here. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, they took a um, iron mine all the way out here. Crazy. Alright, Kalmeric. Let's see. At this point, it's going to be a while before we get to um, before we get to uh, our next conscription. So, let's do this and let's see what we can raise as levies there. So, go ahead and turn here. What I'd really love to find is a tower somewhere near uh, here, but it uh, doesn't appear that that's going to be the case. Alright, so my lordship raised levies. Uh, they'll do their part to defend the town. I'll make this a Mott and Bailey later. Uh, oh, and just to show you, the Mott and Bailey is not a recruitable spot. If you look at the bottom, there's no crown like you see with this one here. So, um, all right, Jadros. Let's just okay. Yep, just all water up here. I fr I figured, but let's see. 18 units, lots of crossbowmen, and one ballista. So that'd be five shots. Um, Is it worth it? It might be worth it. Yeah, let's let's do it. We'll crash in that. And we can drop, hopefully, a levy there. Find out, as a matter of fact. Use special power, raise levies. Yep. And that should be able to keep it uh, under control uh, from anything the dwarves can muster at that point. So, um, all right. Do that. Your Mott and Bailey. We'll get up here and do that Mott and Bailey. Uh, I've sort of gotten away from where I wanted to be here, but that's fine with me. What I'm looking for, because of all this forest, I'm looking to see if I can find another ancient forest. I'd love more unicorn knights. Um, just because they are cool. I mean, they're very rare, so getting them in any numbers uh, just isn't very feasible. But. Um, Oh, speaking of which, didn't I have a magic item? I forgot. Uh, let's see. None of, oh, you do. Uh, do you have you know, magic spores? Okay, blood fungus. Wraith crown, summon 12 long dead. Okay, that's really cool. Also, I should probably get some archers on this wall because that's silly. Um, yeah, we'll grab the court mage and we'll grab the longbow in here. And uh, we should start doing more recruits on the longbow, but court mage, fire shield, and earth grip. Okay. 
uh, because we're bringing all the spearmen and stuff down, we can then use that to, to tackle this. But um, um, who's got my magic item? Is it you? you? Oh, okay, can't we can't tell here, right? So we gotta right click. Uh, you got my ice sword. You don't. Yeah, you obviously don't, because I got. Did I get the regeneration thing, or was I gonna take it from somebody? That's what I can't remember. There's a. A thing that allowed regeneration that I w wanted to get so we can cure afflictions. Oh, yes. That's actually on the mage and the magic library. That's where it was. Okay. So, yeah. We definitely want to take that magic library so we can heal our first high lord. So. Yeah. Deleted a few units there. Those crossbows can be deadly if they're the given walls like that, so. Yeah, you love that gold stream, and it makes sense. You need the resources. All right, well, we're definitely worse for wear now, but let's go ahead and raise those levees. Beautiful. Um, and I guess I should be asking myself the question. Uh, well, first, let's do this. Um, they're not going to be able to get very far, and we'll be able to crush them. Um, I should be asking myself the question... Let's do it. Raise fort. Okay. If I raise the fort first, will I get better levies? So, that's something I'll have to figure out. Uh, let's see. At this point... Oh! Forgot I was going to get this. We can murder goats, right? They only do 1 to 3 damage. Um, they have mountain move. That's always fun. They're very experienced goats, but uh, my high lord should be able to take them. So... Um, Forgot about this. Yeah, so we'll take that. We'll come up here and we'll take care of that too. So, and I should probably stop moving this way and uh, work my way back. Um, let's see. So that's converted. We're going to convert this. All right. Let's see. Use the terrain to our advantage. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to swing back uh, this way here. Um, so that we can uh, get back to uh, our town and then uh, take care of things there. So, all right, everything's good. We'll hit in turn, get control of our area right before we get too crazy. Uh, so, Autumn's here. High Lord for 77 gold. That was an expensive High Lord. Uh, maybe he has magic items. I wonder, do magic items actually affect that? That is a, that is a question, right? All right, uh, let's see. Three Pikeneers, ten units, mostly Pikeneers. Okay, so they must have had a special recruit for Pikeneers, so lucky them. But, uh, uh, it took my coal mine, but, all right. Yeah, you're out of it for a little bit. Uh, I want to explore, but, all right. We can take this farm here real quick. Um, all right, my High Lord. Let's go kill two goats. If you can't kill two goats, then maybe you don't deserve to be a high lord. Uh, do I do it and see if he has magic items? Maybe he has magic items, but no. Uh, let's let's stay focused here. Yeah. Not that it was ever in any doubt, but you know. There is the chance that they roll really high and kill him, but... <sighs> now you're just being annoying. Okay, Alchemist, we definitely should take. Um, let's see. Where do we want that Alchemist? We only have three recruit points, right? Or four. We had four. I keep forgetting about that. Um, but yeah, no, we'll, we'll go ahead and put the Alchemist here. Because that's our for most forward place. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to get some longbow as well uh, to go with this army that's coming in. Okay. So, Oswine is almost here. Um, just in time for winter, right? Nope, we have one more round of movement. So, okay, so we eliminated that army. We're going to eliminate this and take the gold stream back. You got. Yeah, their standard uh, assortment of that. 
and they're just buying more ballistas. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So up to 16. So so they're, they're going to be annoying. And uh, we're just going to have to deal with that. So may have to do a throwaway eventually. We've got so much iron right now. So much iron. Uh, let's go ahead and just start selling iron at this point. Um, because, yeah, we, we just really, I don't think we'll ever come close to using all that up. So, all right. So, let's do our test here. Um, so, we've got the Hamlet. We're going to use the special powers to raise fort. And then we'll try raising levees and see if, you know. Uh, what do we get here? We got fire resistance, coal resistance. Not great, but that two gold a turn. Pay for himself. Uh, sentry you up. Uh, I should do the recruit here. I can't because I'm broke, but I already did it. So awesome. All right. Just double checking to see if there's anything else that I can do as the Lord. Um, yeah, sentry you. What I was looking for is my court mage. He can't do anything either, sentry. Okay. Yep, I think we're good in terms of converting everything over here. Over. Um, I don't think you could... Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen levees on a uh, ancient forest. So we'll go ahead and do a little scouting and then swing around up. Frass. Might as well. All right, we're seeing yellow here. Yellow is Urkborn. I don't know what they are. Obviously. Oh, well. Maybe I do. Maybe they're Hoburgers, because this is a Hoburg village. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and end turn here. Okay. And those deer should have kept the high ground. Everyone knows that works. All right. Ice Druid. Okay, so really nothing else to be done here other than to get back home. Let's see. 26 units there. Oswine, you're basically going to come up this way. And we'll pick up the units there, and then we'll finally move south. Um, you're just going to see what's over here. Do I have a lordship? To bring the next set of recruits no but he'll probably come all right let's see what raise levies does okay four that is on the upper end of what we could get on our regular ones but maybe it's more consistent that way i don't know um all right and you're stuck there so you're good frass so if it is hoburgers i'm not concerned at all um which is great um and then you guys will get more. Ooh, actually, no, Ice Druid and Longbowman. Okay, now we can see the Ice Druid here. So, Hintal is the Ice Druid. Uh, they get Frost Magic and Druidism, so two spell channels, which is fantastic. Infernal Tome summoning the Imp. Summons one Imp per round. Fantastic. Uh, imps aren't great, but I mean, that's just a free Imp every round. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, so Frost Magic, we got Freeze, which is uh, a decent one, 1 to 8. And Icicle, which is 1 to 6, 1 to 3, uh, armor negating. Um, so, and then we got Poison Vine and Tangle Vine. Uh, both of them in Tangle. Um, 1 to 5 damage and just burst 1. So, yeah, it looks like the Tangle Vine is just a worse version of Poison Vine. Um, unless you don't want to poison them. So, either way, uh, very cool. We got tons of mages. And uh, I guess we're going to have a party at the library once it comes time. So, we're going to go ahead and sentry up here. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and turn. So, it means we're going to probably have to save up some gold to, to get some guys trained up. Ah, I forgot we were going to. Oh, no, I, I don't have any movement. That's right. Ten archers. That's good. Um, go ahead and move down there. So their snow move is going to make it uh, annoying, but let's transfer some units here. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer five of those guys, and we'll transfer 
those guys to defend this uh, gold mine. A gold stream, yeah. And then we'll do a chase. Um, let's see. Okay. And you, sir, we're going to come up here. Oh, there's a little farm hiding out. All right, Oswine. Let's see. Which of these mages? At this point, we can go here. That's going to take all their move anyways. Um, which mage would be best? Uh, Zagmi, right? No. Uh, Zenith Afarat. Um, we'll go ahead and transfer units. Grab all those longbows, and it'll come down here. And now between the two of them, oh, we've got ourselves quite quite a force here uh, to take out this magic library here. Um, Iron Arcana, we'll take a look at what that is. High Arcana and Alchemist. I'm not worried about the class of if they had any form of uh, fire or ice. Uh, I would be really concerned about uh, going against them in a siege, but all right, here we're gonna head back home. Is the uh, plan uh, so that we can pick up the next set of recruits as they come out? All right, that is looking good. Drop some longbow here because we're gonna need them. Uh, I should have got the archers instead, but oh well. I've missed it. All right, we'll go ahead and do that. Moon Mage, very cool. They keep wanting to take all my gold, that's fair. Uh, let's see, yep, we'll just kind of work our way down. What do we got left, 22 units, still good quality units. So we'll go ahead and move there. All right. At this point, you, sir, should probably get back up here and frass. Well, I was thinking you might be able to get in there, but we'll just take the farm instead. Uh, this army should be sufficient to take this out here, so do that. And I have to keep paying attention to my time. Because this is actually quite fun. I can definitely see why people enjoy it. Um, so let's grab our Moon Mage. Because why not? Um, Alright, and we'll look at our Moon Mage. So Moon Magic, level 2. Uh, summons Shade Warriors, which are cool. Uh, oh no, sorry. I keep thinking this summons them. But no, it actually makes your people ethereal, which is fantastic. Um, being able to... Uh, Avoid 75% of attacks. Um, fantastic. Burst 9. Touch of the Moon uh, puts enemies to sleep. So that one's a good one. Shadow Form is just a single version of the etherealness. So we're just going to do Moonlight instead. Uh, 1 to 3 armor negating and causes confusion. So I'd rather have that than just a single target etherealness. Um, so yeah, he's already a level 2 mage. So if he were to visit Library... He could go up to a level 3 for uh, 600 gold, but uh, you would need, what, a level 3 library, yeah. So those are very few and far between, um, but I never really uh, explored that aspect. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was going to show you what they have. So Iron Shower, ah, that is the worst one they could have had. Uh, burst 25, 1 to 5 damage. Um, summons Earth Elementals, those are pretty nasty. And Iron Shards, okay. So I guess Iron Arcana is, I, I was thinking of uh, Metal Arcana, I guess. Um, Fire Ward, nothing. Soul Slay, okay, well that sucks. Um, magic resists negates, uh, but with great difficulty, just 1 to 999 damage, so he deletes, guys. Um, and then the alchemist, just cold and fire resistance, so nothing to worry about there, so. But. Get. Get them. We took way too many casualties. Oh, God. Okay. 
That was definitely not worth it for all the losses we took. My lord. All right. Much respect, Iron Arcana. A meteor struck down in a dead forest, leaving only a smoking crater. So, okay. That's far enough away from us. Uh, craters are nothing to most factions, unless you do gems, like the dwarves do. In which case, if you can take control of the crater, you're in great shape. So, um, Because the crater will allow you to get uh, gems. I don't remember if it's specific gems only, or, or, or how it works, actually. But... So yeah, we're down to 14 units from that massive stack. Um, and we got a bunch of magic items on people who aren't lords. But we do have a magic library now under our control. Uh, so, uh, Frass, congratulations. You are most senior member of our staff. Uh, you'll go ahead and take control of everybody. Uh, let's see. Do we have regular bowmen in this group? Yes, we do. So we'll leave those guys to defend those walls. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Okay, you regenerate anyways. Who's got that regenerating bit? The Athame, a hive sacrifice. Atham. Let's see. Wraith crown. I guess that should go to you, dude. Um, are you? You're not wounded. No. Okay. Actually, no. The wraith crown should go to my unicorn knight. Ethereal now with three armor and regeneration and all that stuff. Or no, fast heal, not regeneration. Um, you've got uh, the, the spore thing, so uh, let's go ahead and give that to you. Summons a blood fungus. Um, where'd my other magic item go? Magic items. There they are. That's what we wanted. The boots of regeneration. So, um, so we're gonna give that to you first. Doesn't really m matter, right? You can do boots. That is the one thing you guys can't do. Dang it. Okay. So not as good. Um, well, can't hurt to give it to my longbowman. Get him healed up. The trick is uh, micromanaging it, unfortunately. But uh, okay, we'll murder this group. We'll bring our High Lord in to, to uh, properly take control of this army here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. With this, we're going to uh, march you back, and we're going to finish out this round here. And then I think we're going to call it. Uh, let's see. You, sir, want to go... Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Mir, that's another town we can take. Okay. All right. Let's see, let's do a recruit because we're going to have to replace all those losses, unfortunately. So we'll grab some longbowmen here and we'll hit in turn. Those undead just came out of nowhere. All right. Two trebuchets and initiative the metal orders. So, all right. It's like they want me to stay. Okay. I'm going to crash into them before I forget about it. And then I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Again, I'm glad to see all the comments. I'm glad to see that people are enjoying my first video. Uh, by the time this one goes, the second video will have been up for a bit. Um, so uh, there is a little bit of lag uh, as I'm trying to get a little ahead just in case I have uh, um, any issues that uh, slow me down so that I can continue with the, the daily vids if possible. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it really means a lot. It is growing our channel and we're starting to have a bigger impact. We are working to get more games up as well. Uh, so for those of you who want a little variety, uh, we will have Mech Warrior coming up. Um, Mech Warrior 5 is going to be releasing an expansion, and we were going to do some multiplayer with that. So keep your eyes open for that as well. And uh, as always, um, if you have any games, any um, classes for Conquest of Elysium you wanted, you want me to go through, uh, please leave them in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to, to talk with you guys about that. So 
with that, I will bid you guys farewell.